Magaya offers different ways to create quotations, directly in your Magaya system, in the Magaya rate management system, or from customer requests in the Magaya digital freight portal. This video shows you how to create a quote directly in your Magaya system. Hi, I'm George from Magaya. Today, I'll show you how to create a quote directly in your Magaya system using rates. First, I'll show you the options in the system. Then, we'll walk through running a query of the rates in your system and how the system generates a charge from the query. And finally, we'll create a quote for an import shipment by querying selling rates. Let's get started. You can manually create a quote in the Magaya system by opening the Quotations folder and then clicking Quotations or Quotation List. Both screens will have an Add button to create a new quote. The Add button opens the quotation screen where you can manually enter all of the information you need for your quote. Magaya also helps you create quotations using the rates setup in your system. You can run a query of your rates from the Quotations or Quotation List screens. Click the drop-down arrow for the Actions button and select Query Rates. You can also run a query from the Rates folder. Click on any of the three rate options here and open the drop-down for the Actions button and select Query Rates. Before using the Query tool, let's take a quick moment to talk about rates in Magaya. Let's first look at Standard Client Rates. These are also known as Selling Rates and are the base rates for all your customers. They can be for any type of freight service, such as air, ocean, or ground. They also include origins and destinations. Client rates are also selling rates, but they apply only to certain customers. You can add the rates here or under their profile found in Maintenance. The last type of rate in Magaya is a carrier rate. These are also known as buying rates or purchasing rates for your freight services. If you'd like, you can create each rate per container, and it will be saved in the list and in the carrier's profile. Now that we understand the rates, let's run a query. Let's go back to the quotation list and create a query. First, click the Actions button drop-down and select Query Rates. The Query Rates screen will open. There are two views here, Simple and Advanced. The default is the Simple Query. To use the Advanced Query, click here to select it. You can switch back and forth between the Simple and Advanced screens without losing what you've entered. Let's query selling rates for an import quotation using the Advanced Query. Note that all of the fields are optional to give you the most freedom to query rates. First, select the query type from the drop-down. For this example, Sales. Then enter the query date here. Next, select the mode of transportation, for example, Air. Then select a carrier and customer or lead. The Service Type field is filled in automatically based on the mode of transportation you selected. You can also choose a frequency from the Frequency drop-down here. You can add the Freight Service class or other charges here. For both of these fields, choose the option you need from the drop-downs. If you want to choose more than one option, click Select next to the field. The list opens so you can filter and select as many items as you need. Next is the Origin section. Here, you can choose the port of lading and the country. If you need multiple items, use the Select button to choose from the list. For ocean transportation, you can also enter a place of receipt here. The Destination section is just like the Origin section. Here, you can select the port of unlading and the country. For Ocean Transport, there is a Place of Delivery field. Finally, the Cargo section is where you will add information about the cargo. Enter information about the number of pieces, the weight and volume, and the description. You can also choose if the cargo is containerized or if it's a hazardous material. Now we're ready to run the query. Select if you want to include automatic charges or display items with zero value here, and then click Query. The rate results will appear in this list. You can edit the quantity for the rates here, and the amount will automatically update to match. Now that we have our list of rates, let's create a quote.
Use the checkboxes beside the rates to select one or more rates to use for your quotation. Then click Create Quote. The quotation screen opens, showing the information from the query. Let's go section by section to complete this quotation. First is the General tab. The quote number is automatically populated and can be configured under Maintenance. Here, we have the quotation's creation date and the expiration date, which is 30 days by default. You also have fields to enter the name and division for the employee who created the quote, which are filled in by default. There's also an option to attach a salesperson to the quote. The Issued By field is your company. In the Customer or Lead Info section, the customer information and mode of transportation will carry over from the rate query. You can edit these fields if any changes are needed. You can also add any INCO terms and a description of goods here. In the Items Info section, you will see the cargo carried over from the rate query as well. You can add additional cargo using these fields and then click Add. You can also edit or delete any existing cargo. Next is the Routing tab. Notice that all the information populated from the query. We have the mode of transportation, the origin, and the destination. Here, we see there's no consignee, so in this example, we'll add one. In the Charges tab, see the charges included from the rate query. To add additional charges or any costs, click the Add button. Choose an income or expense charge to open a new screen to add the details of the charge. Let's add an expense charge to this quotation. Select the type of charge here, the currency, and the tax code. You can add a description here. Then select who the charge is applied to and how the charge is paid, prepaid, collect, or through third-party options. Finally, enter the quantity and price per quantity information, and the amount will calculate automatically. Click OK to add the charge to your quote and return to the quotation screen. The Events tab in the Quotation screen lets you add an event to the quotation if you'd like. Do this by clicking the Add button. The Attachments tab lets you add attachments such as documents or photos by clicking the Add button or selecting your device. If you click the Notes tab, you can enter in your notes or you can click the Clause button and select from your predefined list. The Internal Notes tab is used to communicate among employees in your company. Do this by clicking the New button. Internal notes are not visible to customers. Finally, the Custom tab is used to show additional custom fields. All your custom fields can be configured under your Maintenance folder. After entering the information for your quote, click OK to create your quotation document. Your document will also appear in the quotations list. From here, you can see the status of each quote, print or email it to your customer, or convert it into other transactions such as bookings or pickup orders. Magaya has the tools to help you streamline your quotations process to keep your business and cargo moving. See our other videos and the knowledge base for more on import operations in your Magaya software. Thanks for watching.